Today I'm in the neighborhood of Pilsen at the National Museum of Mexican Art. So I walked in and of course I spotted a gift shop. Shopping time. Oh, I like these guys, they're in the gym, working out. Oh, excellent hats. Look at these, oh, I think this is saying my name. Don? Yeah, <laughs> you caught me. In my true professional form, uh, I am in a mask as uh, the curator of all the art in the museum comes over. You got the right idea. <laughs> How are you? Good, nice to meet uh, you. The National Museum of Mexican Art holds one of the largest permanent collections in the United States of objects, artifacts, and works of art from both sides of the border. I am ready to take a look at my cultural learn yes, on. Let's go. You know? You know, we don't allow drinks inside the gallery. Okay. These are among the oldest antiquities that we have on display and that we have in the collection. How old are they? Like, oh. how old are we talking? Many of them are thousands of years old. It's pretty shocking that right in the heart of Chicago, you've got art that's thousands of years old from Mexico. The idea of fertility and procreation, life and death are always a part of these kinds of uh, artifacts. You know, you forget like, yes, art is beautiful, but I'm learning. And what do we have here? This is gorgeous. You know, this is probably one of our most popular pieces that we have, especially with children. What is this art made of? They call them Chakira beads. From afar, you can't tell, but up close, you can see that each little bead is painstakingly put into wax. We traded actual bags of rice and beans for this piece. It that was... is awesome. <laughs> he is seeking out art from its source, and he's doing whatever he can to get it here. I do come to this case and see something very familiar. All the skulls and the bright colors. Dia de los Muertos. Very good, Dia de yeah. los Muertos. It's skulls, it's vibrant colors, but I have to say I had no idea what it actually stood for. Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico uh, or in Mexican communities throughout the world on November 1st and November 2nd. Uh, and it's a day when we gather as communities to welcome back the souls of those people who are no longer with us. Day of the Dead is welcoming home our family. It's, it's about grandma and grandpa and, and our aunts and uncles and parents. This whole room we're walking into is all Chicago artists. Yes, they are artists who uh, have either moved here to the city and now live and work in Chicago or artists who were born here. Not only are you learning about the culture of the past, but now you actually are learning about the culture of Mexican artists right here in our city. And I think I see myself in this picture you, here. Is that a luchador right there? It is. You definitely uh, see a luchador with a pink mask on. Hey, you know what? I can't thank you enough for this awesome experience. The Mexican art was not only beautiful to look at, but I learned a lot about the culture too. So I can't thank you enough. Good. I'm so glad. Thank you for coming. I feel like much more connected with Mexican culture now that I've been here. Yep. And make sure you come back. Oh, come back, especially I'm writing on my calendar Day of the Dead. I'm coming back for that for sure. <laughs>